On today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm diving into the research to uncover what is L-carnitine, including the health benefits, dosage, and side effects. Is L-carnitine a good supplement for your specific needs, or is it just a waste of money? Let's find out. Welcome back to the second episode in our new supplement series where I'm giving you a quick science back and evidence-based overview of popular supplements. So the goal of this supplement series is to cut through all the marketing BS to help you make healthier decisions while saving you time and money. So to do this, I'll quickly answer the most frequently asked questions by diving into the research, then articulating the findings in an easy to understand format. I'll do my best to focus on scientific research from high quality studies conducted on humans, preferably randomized controlled trials with placebo controls. For the most part, these studies tend to provide the most reliable evidence to assess the effectiveness of a supplement. And to date, over 50,000 people viewed the first episode on taurine, so let's keep this momentum going. The most frequently asked questions about L-carnitine include, what is L-carnitine? What are the foods high in L-carnitine? What is the difference between L-carnitine tartrate and acetyl L-carnitine? L-carnitine tartrate health benefits, L-carnitine for weight loss, acetyl L-carnitine health benefits, does L-carnitine help reduce depression? L-carnitine heart health benefits, including blood pressure and cholesterol. And does L-carnitine help reduce type two diabetes? How do you know if you have an L-carnitine deficiency? What is a safe and effective dosage of L-carnitine? What are the side effects of L-carnitine? What is more effective, L-carnitine injections or oral supplementation? And is L-carnitine with fucoxanthin effective? So to be respectful of your time, I'll share timestamps to each answer in the description below. So before we jump in, let me know in the comments below if you have ever supplemented with L-carnitine. So with that said, let's jump right into it. What is L-carnitine? So L-carnitine is an amino acid that is naturally produced by your body, but it can also be consumed from food or supplements. L-carnitine helps transport fatty acids into your cell's mitochondria to be metabolized and converted into energy. So in other words, think of your cell's mitochondria as a furnace. When fatty acids are transported into your mitochondria, they are then burned for energy. Foods high in L-carnitine. L-carnitine is found primarily in animal protein foods, including red meat, poultry, pork, and dairy. You can also supplement with L-carnitine. However, according to this study, the bioavailability of dietary L-carnitine is 54 to 87%, and the absorption of L-carnitine dietary supplements is primarily passive with a bioavailability of 14 to 18%. So what is the difference between L-carnitine tartrate and acetyl L-carnitine? The two most popular types of L-carnitine are L-carnitine tartrate, also known as LCLT, or acetyl L-carnitine, known as ALCAR, or A-L-C-A-R. These two popular types of L-carnitine appear to provide different health benefits, therefore you should choose based on your desired goals. L-carnitine tartrate health benefits. L-carnitine tartrate is primarily used in exercise performance supplements with the goal to improve exercise performance, increase power, reduce muscle soreness, improve muscle recovery, and increase weight loss. So according to this randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial study on the National Library of Medicine, supplementing with L-carnitine tartrate over a five-week period helped improve exercise recovery in men and women. However, there is a lack of research on the longer-term effects in the general population. In addition to this, although some studies have reported positive effects, the results have been mixed and the overall evidence is not entirely consistent or conclusive. L-carnitine for weight loss. So as mentioned, since L-carnitine helps shuttle fatty acids to the mitochondria to be burned for energy, many supplement companies market it as a weight loss supplement. And according to this review of 37 studies on the National Library of Medicine, L-carnitine supplementation provides a modest reducing effect on body weight, BMI, and fat mass, especially among adults who are overweight or obese. No significant effect was seen for weight circumference and body fat percentage. And according to this randomized control with humans, subjects who received carnitine lost 
significantly more weight and showed a decrease in body mass index compared with the control group. Now the magnitude of weight loss resulted by carnitine supplementation significantly decreased over time. And while there have been studies conducted including randomized control trials with placebo controls, the results have been inconsistent and the overall impact of L-carnitine on weight loss appears to be modest at best. Now let's talk about acetyl L-carnitine health benefits. So according to this National Library of Medicine study, acetyl L-carnitine is better known for its effectiveness on brain function. Acetyl L-carnitine is believed to have a better ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and potentially impact cognitive function. And although the results are not always consistent across studies, some studies have suggested that the following potential cognitive benefits from supplementing with acetyl L-carnitine include a reduction in cognitive decline, dementia, and age-related disorders, an improvement in memory and learning in older adults, and a decrease in depression and an improvement in mood. And this study concludes that acetyl L-carnitine supplementation significantly decreases depressive symptoms compared with placebo or no intervention, while offering a comparable effect with that of established antidepressant agents with fewer adverse effects. However, future large-scale trials are required to confirm or refute these findings. Even though the research looks promising, this study concludes, based on the currently available evidence, the role of acetyl L-carnitine in Alzheimer's disease and other cognitive disorders is still under debate. Let's talk about L-carnitine heart health benefits. When it comes to heart health, L-carnitine has been studied to see if it helps improve blood pressure in obese and overweight individuals. And this study found L-carnitine supplementation decreased diastolic blood pressure without affecting systolic blood pressure levels. Research is required to determine the molecular mechanism underlying the relationship between L-carnitine on blood pressure. L-carnitine has also been studied to decrease risk of heart failure. This study found L-carnitine treatment in chronic heart failure patients may improve clinical symptoms and cardiac function. Improving cholesterol levels by reducing total and LDL levels while improving HDL levels in people with risk of heart disease. This study found L-carnitine supplementation could improve lipid profile levels, particularly in doses of more than 1,500 milligrams per day. However, more random controlled trials which large sample sizes is needed to understand the effect of L-carnitine on patients with cardiovascular risk factors. L-carnitine type 2 diabetes. So L-carnitine may also be helpful with type 2 diabetes as it may help overweight and obese individuals reduce fasting blood sugar, their A1C levels, and improve insulin sensitivity. This study showed that L-carnitine supplementation had a significant effect on fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1C, and homeostasis model assessment estimate insulin resistance in the intervention compared to the control group. So how do you know if you have an L-carnitine deficiency? The levels of L-carnitine in your body are impacted by your dietary intake and your body's natural production. So based on this, the three main groups of people who may be deficient in L-carnitine include older adults, vegans and vegetarians, and people with liver psoriasis and kidney disease. So if you fall into any of these three groups, you may wanna have your L-carnitine levels checked. What is a safe and effective dosage of L-carnitine? So although supplement dosage vary based on the study, here are the common dosage ranges. For L-carnitine tartrate, 1,000 to 4,000 milligrams per day. And intakes up to two grams a day are safe for chronic supplementation of L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine, 500 to 3,000 milligrams per day. And what are the side effects of L-carnitine? So when consumed in regular dosages, L-carnitine does not seem to have any major side effects. However, L-carnitine administered orally may occasionally cause heartburn or indigestion in some people. Lastly, supplementing with L-carnitine may cause a fishy smell in your urine, your breath, and your sweat. So which is more effective, L-carnitine injections or oral supplementation? L-carnitine can be supplemented orally via powder, capsules, tablets, or liquid. These are convenient and easy to consume options. However, when taken orally, L-carnitine is absorbed through the digestive system, thus the absorption rate and the bioavailability varies based on your gut health and stomach acid levels. You can also get L-carnitine injections, which administers the supplement directly into your bloodstream rather than going through the digestive system. This rapidly increases the absorption and bioavailability. However, L-carnitine injections are not as convenient as they are typically given by a healthcare professional. 
Is L-carnitine with fucoxanthin effective? So lastly, there are a few supplement companies that have paired L-carnitine tartrate with fucoxanthin. Now, fucoxanthin is an antioxidant carotenoid found in brown seaweed. And recent studies have reported that fucoxanthin may help reduce the risk of obesity. However, the results of animal studies showed that fucoxanthin had potential value in preventing and treating lifestyle-related diseases such as obesity, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and other chronic diseases. Though there are few studies in human subjects, more clinical trials should be conducted. So in conclusion, guys, based on the research, it appears that L-carnitine tartrate may help increase weight loss and fat burning, and acetyl L-carnitine may help improve brain function. However, to get better conclusive findings, more scientific research from high-quality studies conducted on humans needs to occur. However, with that said, since L-carnitine supplements are fairly affordable, if you're looking to improve in any of these areas, you can always test it on yourself with the appropriate dosages since there does not appear to be any serious side effects besides a little fishy smell. I'll include Amazon links to L-carnitine tartrate and acetyl L-carnitine in the description below. As always, when it comes to your specific needs, always speak with your healthcare provider to find out if supplementing with L-carnitine is good for you. That's all for today's quick overview on L-carnitine. In the comment section below, tell me which supplement you would like me to do a deep dive on next. Do you wanna see a video on glutamine, branched chain amino acids, leucine, creatine, or something else? Let me know. Thanks for watching and keep Living late. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming.